Well, one of the things we really hadn't talked about was the construction of it and why it's constructed the way it is and uh, really pretty much on building costs because we just did this last year and uh, kind of wanted to make sure it was going to work good and everything else before we discussed, and, you know, if, if I did something wrong or did something right. But last year I had a big catastrophe, which we're not going to get into that because that was my uh, fault. So, but anyway, all the PVC pipe uh, can be bought at Lowe's, Home Depot, one of those places like that. I wanted to go with the biggest pipe as possible. I see several videos on hydroponics where they're using two inch, three inch, or little gutters or something like that. And there's a good reason why I didn't want to go with that. And that's what I learned last year. Well, just about everything on this thing could be bought for about $100. Uh, the plastic barrel, which I painted white with fusion, you can't have any sunlight get into your water and fertilizer or algae will grow. So you don't want to have any light get into that. The plastic barrels, that's a 30 gallon barrel. It can be uh, it can be picked up some places for free. You just have to cut the lid off of it and, to get your sump pump in there and all this basically does is the two hoses on this side the uh, sump pump in there pumps it for the 55 second fill time and then the other other lines the two on the other side are just overflows and one of these on this side is just basically a uh, just a drain back into it a low level drain to drain everything back into it. Barrels can be picked up like I said probably for free plastic barrels you just have to, just have to paint them white with fusion or paint the uh, sump pump, <coughs> excuse me, last year I used one from Harbor Freight, $39, worked great. I had it for like four or five years. It finally cratered. It wasn't due to this, it was something else, but it cratered. Uh, found a couple of pumps online, Work, working good so far. As far as track records I have, I don't really have any, you know, good track records with them yet. Uh, The reason I did this, for one thing, is fascinating. Uh, everybody likes to grow stuff, see stuff grow, and uh, but you get my age and a lot of people's age don't like to be digging dirt, don't like to be weeding, and they don't like to be bending over and stuff like that. I want to see if it worked. And like I said, I see other people on. Uh, other builds on you know building a hydroponic garden garden this is the reason I recommend to go uh, four inch Harbor I mean uh, Home Depot and Lowe's they sell four inch they don't really sell too much six inch not that I found I would have much rather went with six inch than a four inch but four inch does work and three weeks worth of growth, this is the kind of roots you have. So two inch or the smaller lines and stuff like that if you plan on growing tomatoes and basically everything that I put in there last year, we put out roots like this. The reason they're at the end of the loop comes from that side drain over here. They'll start blocking the water completely. So you have to kind of move them around like cucumbers are not too bad squash are not too bad. Tomatoes put down some pretty heavy roots. Very healthy. That's good. But you don't want them over there blocking your water flow to your other plants. That's the reason I don't think that the 2 inch, 3 inch type pipe systems are going to work very well. Uh, uh, this year, I want to get the cucumbers 
those guys. They went down last year. We want to get them up here to get them to spread out. And then that way, you know, they don't have to bend over and they're not on the ground. Never really had any problem with bugs too much. Flying ones you're not going to get rid of, but the caterpillars and stuff like that, they don't make it up here. If I do see anything, I just spray a little bit of insecticide at the base, very little, and I really don't have any problem at all. We talked about the timer. Like I said, that's just nothing more than a uh, fan relay and two uh, time delay relays. Can be pick you can pick them up online if you're a good shopper. You know, you can get the whole timer system for like 30 bucks. If you don't know too much about control wiring, I suggest getting a uh, an electrician to do it for you. And then $100 for this. The only thing is determined about the size pipe you use and the length of the amount of pipe you use is you got to remember you've got to flood it. I figured out that 30 gallons, roughly about two-thirds of that drum right there, will fill this thing completely and, and very easily. So you could literally have more space. You could put in, if you got another drum, bigger container, you could put in another run of PVC pipe. Uh, I would not go anything under 4 inch pipe. And like I said, you can buy all the pipe what you see here for right about $100. The pump's going to cost you anywhere from $15 to $39. The timer's going to cost you $30. All this stuff can be picked up locally. Uh, the pipe can be gotten at Home Depot, uh, Lowe's, places like that. Didn't get into this too much last year because I wanted to make sure this was going to work and how well it worked and if it did work. Uh, and it did really good, but up to my uh, stupidity, I didn't really get uh, a yield of what I got out of it. And that's what I'm going to work on this year is, you know, exactly how much you're going to get out of this garden and for its size. And uh, another thing, while we're right here. net pots can be picked up 30 or 40 of them for nine ten dollars uh, I'm using the uh, clay balls as a soil you can use basically really anything that's what I'm using it seems to work well So, that's it. Uh, we're going to do a little bit more progress in the weeks to come, and I'm not going to do the stupid stuff I did last year. So, but we want to get a yield out of this exactly how much, uh, and basically any hole that you have in it. Like right here, need to be covered with something. The water mixture doesn't stay in there long enough to grow algae, but if any sunny sunlight can get to it, it will grow on the PVC pipe. So you want to keep them covered with net pots, or you know you can you can put covers in them. You can buy stuff like those to do it. I mainly put those in there because the water runs in there so fast I don't want it splashing over. Another plus of the garden is let's say you go on vacation for four or five days. Uh, who's going to water your plants? You don't have to worry about that because they're going to get water. Uh, I just basically come out here and look at it and say uh-huh and I walk off. That's all I ever do with it. I don't really do any kind of maintenance. I have, don't have to weed it. I don't have to bend over. The only thing I have to do is watch it grow and uh, add a little bit of water to your drum and a little bit of fertilizer. We'll get into that. Uh, 
and pick what grows off of it. So it's pretty self self sufficient. You have to come out and check it, make sure the pump hasn't cratered on you or your timer hasn't cratered on you. But uh, other than that, that's it. And like I said, we'll get into it more uh, later on and we'll actually see what this thing will do in a year. Thank you.